today on Blind Date. I guess I'm more like a uh, bad boy going straight. An ex-bad boy takes a party girl for a ride. All right, show me super sexy like you're thinking, damn, Johnny's hot. <laughs> but are they headed down the wrong road? I don't think I'm a nice girl. Well, then we got a problem. Plus, amazing days we're going to have. Beware of daters who bring their own props. You are so <laughs> weird. It all begins now. Face. On Blind Date. Hey there. Nice to have you with us. I'm Roger Lodge, and welcome to Blind Date, your daily dose of dating hijinks. Let's get to all the fun. And today, we're going to start with Lindsay and Todd. Now, Lindsay describes herself as outspoken and says she has a bad habit of dating stupid guys. Well, hopefully, breaking her of that bad habit will be Todd. He's a teacher who says when it comes to meeting women, he has a different approach. If I were to go up to a girl the first time and be like, hey, you look like and she would be like, oh, thanks, so do you. That would be an excellent first interaction. I would consider myself very spontaneous. I do like a girl who can shake it and work it and shake it, and she knows how to mojinate, if you can see that. I have a goofy side where, like, if you get to know me, then you think I'm hilarious. I love, 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 love the sass. I think he loves the sass. Let's hope Lindsay remembers to bring hers. <laughs> Amazing days we're going to have. I hope I don't hate you. <laughs> My name is Todd, and yours is Lindsay. <laughs> I really like your shoes. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> Come on in. Have a seat. I got four roommates. This guy, a uh, very intelligent gentleman. I uh, go ahead and shake his hand on the far left. Nope, far left, far left. Oh, far left. That's left. Chewy. That's his name's Chewy. He belongs to, he's a good friend of my roommates. The guy in the middle is Justin Bear. Okay, should I shake his hand, Yep, too? absolutely. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. And the, this guy is a little bit shy. He's a, he used to be a Bobby, a rich Bobby. And that's uh, PBB. Okay. They say it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you guys, too. <laughs> You're really nervous. Tell me about how you met, how you met your last boyfriend. It wasn't on blind date, was it? He worked in a store, and I worked at a store across the street. Cool. So what about yourself? How did you meet yours? I was involved in an organization, and she was Kind of a similar organization we got together. What kind of an organization? It was just like it was the Greek system. Oh, what um, fraternity or were you in? A very small, very small house. So were you just in for the booze and the ass? Careful with those assumptions. You know what happens when you make assumptions, don't you? What? When you assume you make it, you make an ass out of you and me. Oh yeah. Right. right. Yeah. You know, get attention. Whoa, 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 whoa. Brought down a little special something. Yeah, I noticed that. What is that? It's uh, it's called a lasso. And uh, it's made of rope. You know, <laughs> this is what we do on the beach. We, we okay. hang out, we throw the frisbee, and we lasso. And then you lasso, okay. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here we go, you ready? Oh my god, you're so weird. So, first impressions. Let's talk about first impressions. We can even talk about our first impressions. Okay. 
That's always fun, right? Uh huh. Um, so did you like the song? Amazing day. The song was the song was cool. The song was unexpected. Unexpected, nice surprise. I like to make people smile. And well, it's not hard. It's really easy to make me smile, actually. So you shouldn't work that hard. So well, you shouldn't feel. Nice. Just saying, you don't have to try. You sure, know? sure, sure. I don't know what kind of girls you like to date. Sassy, I told you. Super oh. sass. Let well, that doesn't seem like that corresponds with your personality. See, you want it straight? OK, I want it straight. I think if I was with a sassy girl here, like, the stuff I was throwing out there, like, would be knocking him down. With a sassy girl? Sure, absolutely. It would be knocking them down? What do you mean, knocking them down? Like, calling my out. So you're into games? No, 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 no. That's testing his games. Sure, I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm really into games. Well, then testing, you're into testing people. I suppose. You are so <laughs> weird. Oh my god. <laughs> Tell me again what's firing back. If I were to say, like, Tonight, you look like a piece of poo. You would shoot back with like, oh yeah, so do you, and you smell. Oh, so you like like potty jokes and like. Yeah, so we're gonna nix the second date then. Unless you're feeling a, a second wind here. No, you are just out of control. Out of control, <laughs> right? Too much to handle. Do you usually do that kind of stuff for all the girls that you go out with? Well, obviously we've been over that. There's not a lot of girls I'm going out with. Exactly. <laughs> it was a pleasure. The experience was fantastic. And uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Have good luck with everything. Thank you. Have a nice life. <laughs> yeah, you too. All right. See you later. Oh, I think Lindsay's body language said it all. Poor Todd couldn't even manage a good night touch. And we'll wrap this one up. Thank goodness. Next. Up next. All right. Got it. It's kiss and tell time. Every boyfriend I've had has cheated on me. That's next. You are so <laughs> weird. Oh, that wacky Todd, he's killing us. And from the looks of Lindsay's reaction, I'd say he killed any chance of a second date. Todd definitely gave me the creeps. She's not my type. She wasn't, you know, sassy. She didn't come back. Todd playing the guitar in the beginning of the date was um, a little bit desperate and just um, a way for him to try to get a lot of attention. I am who I am. Since Todd is a teacher, I feel like he was treating me like one of his students. I will change zero about my personality and hold out for the girl that digs. I do not want a second date with Todd. If Lindsay thinks I'm immature, yeah, right. Well, gee, I hope Lindsay realizes what she's passing up here. All right, now let's see what we can get going with Jen and Johnny. You might remember Johnny from his first date on our show. He wasn't looking for a girl. He was looking for a drinking buddy. Not many people I hang out with that don't drink. It's a little awkward. I got a drink over here by myself. How is it awkward? I'm just not used to, I guess, everything that you are. I think I'm ready for bed. 
Amazingly, she meant the loan. Well, maybe Johnny will have better luck with Jennifer. She says she's completely boy crazy. And if you look up party girl in the dictionary, there's Jenny. I love bad boys. I love guys with tattoos. I love fun guys. I haven't been in that many relationships. I really don't like commitment. I'm not a commitment girl. I like to get drunk and make out a lot, and I love to be naked. Uh, Johnny, you can just send my thank you gift right here, care of the Blind Date Studios. Just pay attention, host boy. Hi, Jennifer. Nice to meet you. Well, how are you? All right. Are you ready for the yeah. date? Yeah? All right. Do you drink? Oh, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Definitely drink. <laughs> what do you like? What's your favorite drink? Uh, probably Seagram Sevens, Long Islands. I got really sick off of Long Island. And Mai Tais and surfers on acid and Jaeger. <laughs> I think you'd be an angry junk. You're crazy. Get all pissed off. No. Surly and try to fight everyone with their boys. <laughs> no, I think you got a little stereotype. I got a uh, full-time career and I take care of my, I just bought a house, so. You know, Good for you. Definitely more practical and civilized. Good, so you're a good boy. I want to say that either. <laughs> I, I guess I'm more like a uh, bad boy going straight. Kind of put it that way. Okay. I've done enough to, you know. You're only 25, how much could you possibly do? Hey, what's up? Hey, hey guys. Max. Jennifer, hi, nice to hey. meet you. Welcome to Thunder Road. Don't take bad ones, though. Oh, no, you can not take them bad things. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, show me super sexy like you're thinking, damn, Johnny's hot. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, Kayla. This time, hold me like you actually want me. Basically, what we're gonna do here <laughs> is I'm gonna get you to start eating this gum, uh -huh. and I'm gonna start putting a building together. You seem like you're cocky. Ready? Yeah, already. Are you well, confident? Where, where I, yeah, very confident. Mm -hmm. I work for everything I have, and yeah. I know where I came from, so it may come off cocky, I guess. Switchy gum. You wanna switch gum? All right, get ready. Oh no. <laughs> Okay. I got it. <laughs> my new thing right now is Kahlua and hot chocolate. Oh my gosh, it's so good. That's just too much for me. When I go out to drink, I go out to drink. Well, yeah, that's not to drink. Like, I just had it this morning. Yeah, by no, nine, you hit the bottle half empty. The Kahlua, I could drink that whole bottle and get drunk off Kahlua. by 8, 9 o'clock on weekdays. It's the opposite for you. I'm living for it, though, you know, so I gotta get seven, eight hours sleep. I, I don't think I'm a nice girl. Well, then we got a problem. You haven't disrespected me yet, so we're all right. As long as you're, you know, a bitch to everybody in the world, but you're good to me and your family, we're okay. I'm looking for the party girl that I can settle down with and be a best friend with, and that's the truth. Like, my whole thing is trust. So I'm really not looking for anything. Everybody's thing trust is trust. Anyone. I can't trust anyone, and I don't want to learn to trust anyone. I'm mean, doing fine how I am right now. The first guy I've ever loved cheated on me. Um, the next guy cheated on me, the next guy cheated on me, and the next guy cheated on me. Like, I don't commit very often, because I have a real big problem settling down. But every boyfriend I've had has cheated on me, and everyone I've caught cheated on me. Well, if you're getting hot in here, <laughs> it might just get hot in here. Well, 
Well, you're not. Right. You want to let her go. Uh, how did you deal with me and all my guy friends? Like, when I'm all, hey, I'm going to Havasu for the weekend with two guys, and I'm staying in their room. Exact same weekend you're leaving, I'm going to do it two girls in Vegas. How do you feel? Face? I don't give a <laughs> You don't trust him. I don't give a You don't trust him. I don't give a Like, don't trust him. I'm not doing anything with my boys. They're my friends. Well, I'm not doing that with my girls then, right? Exactly. That's why I could care less what you do. I don't. I think that's a, I think that's a compromise I'd have to come to when it came to. I think we could be straight. Yeah, I could see you being honest and upfront. I don't think you could at all. You have to admit it with me. I think it's silver enough it follow. No, I'm... But I don't lie. Like, I don't lie to anyone. I don't yeah. lie to my parents, my friends. It's whether you're interested in not to keep it. Mm-hmm. You know? Like, if I want to keep you, I'll keep you. You don't want to keep me. Well, then I think you don't want to keep me. Yes. Okay. Okay. We'll keep each other. I guess I'll talk to you later. Give me a call. I'll see you. All right. Bye. So what have we learned? Well, Jen likes to start each and every day with a shot of booze. She has more baggage than a cross-country flight, and every boyfriend she's ever had has gone astray. Oh, could Johnny have been any luckier? A joyous post-date wrap-up is next. Coming up. Next stop, Hammerville. Oh, yeah. The Hall of Shame's coming up. Exact same weekend you're leaving, I'm gonna do it two girls in Vegas. How do you feel? Face? I don't give a <laughs> I don't give a You don't trust him. I don't give a You don't trust him. I don't give a Like, don't trust him. Oh, give it a rest. Let's just get to the post day wrap up already. And watch your language, you two. When I first saw Johnny, I thought he was pretty hot. I liked the tattoos and his style. It was a cute little casual look. I was pleased. Physically, I like Jan's petiteness. I like her figure from head to toe. What I like about Johnny is he seems like an honest type of guy. He doesn't seem like a cheater at all to me. I think that Jan's a little bit of a party girl, but with the right kind of influence, I think she could be willing to settle down. She's kind of hiding behind that whole wild side. I think Johnny liked me because I'm a tight little package, and I know I'm cute. I would definitely like a second date with Jan. I want a second date with Johnny, but I don't see myself uh, settling down. I think I'll still get drunk and make out with guys at bars. Aw, so nice to see that Jan is onto something very special. That's great. All right, coming up, now Jen's not the only one who can toss a few back. We've got a girl who will put her to shame. Don't go anywhere. You are the fuck. You're up on stage. Welcome back to the Blind Date Hall of Shame. Now, if I have one definite dating rule, it's absolutely, positively never drink too much on a first date. A rule so simple, yet so often ignored. With that in mind, may I present Shelly. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take you home, okay? Mm -hmm. Are you still conscious? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take you home. I'm mm cute. -hmm. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, that is just so sexy. All right, that'll do it for today's show. I'm Roger Lodge, and please drink responsibly.